Paul Bertarelli reporting for Ab Web and Aviation Consumer. If you're heading to ALPA Summit at Hartford, Connecticut this week, you'll be sure to want to stop by the Garmin booth to see their new product. It's the Era 796. This is the follow-up to the GPS Map 696, which was introduced at ALPA three years ago. And this brief video will take a look at it. Now, as you can see, the 796 follows the same general form factor as the 696, but it is, in fact, a little smaller and lighter. It also has a much faster video processor and a longer-lasting lithium-ion battery. The 796 has all the features that the 696 did, but Garmin has added some stuff, too. First of all, it's touchscreen controllable, like the other Aero products, and it's capacitive interface, like a smartphone. So that means you can pinch scale and finger scroll the maps, which you couldn't do with the 696 or even the earlier model Aeros. The capacitive touchscreen is both more sensitive and more accurate than the resistive technology Garmin used in earlier Aero models. One of the 696's selling point is that the, it's the first portable with synthetic vision, which Garmin calls 3D vision. By pressing this button, the 396 displays a miniature airplane flying into a detailed synthetic landscape with resolution of about 9 arc seconds. That means it shows good ground detail and obstacles. On the left and right of the screen are airspeed and altitude tapes, and there's a heading tape at the top of the page. As you turn the airplane, the airplane icon responds with a bank turn. Since this is GPS-derived position data, the display can't show pitch, but it's certainly enough to keep you upright in the clouds. Here's one cool feature of 3D vision. Touch the screen, and you can finger-scroll 360 degrees around the airplane. Now, the synthetic vision shows all the obstacles and terrain, so you can see everything around the airplane, including what's behind you. The 796 has all the standard features, including Garmin Safe Taxi, XM WX Weather, plus the audio entertainment channels for Sirius and XM Radio. It also has a built-in E6 B function and a weight and balance calculator. Unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably noticed that Garmin's portables have been under an onslaught of competition from the iPad and iPad applications. In an attempt to blunt that, Garmin has put some uh, very high-level charge and plate functions into the 796. And we'll take a look at those now. The charts are accessible with this dedicated button. When you touch it, the display calls up the last chart you were looking at. In this case, it was a visual or sectional chart, but the 796 also has low and high altitude instrument charts. It's also got approach plates. To get at those, you touch the menu button down here on the bottom bezel, and you get a list of available charts. Just touch the one you want, and it loads up. As you can see, the charts are geo-referenced with the aircraft position, and to scale up or down, you can pinch the screen, or you can use these scale buttons in the upper right. The approach plates are listed by airport, and you can browse through them with this little green arrow at the top of the page. With a plate view full screen, it's obviously too small to read, but that's no problem. Just pinch the scale up and get the detail you want. Approaches, by the way, can be added to the flight plan function, and for night flying, they automatically revert to reverse video, so the display remains readable without being blinding. The 796 costs $24.99 for a version with weather capability, and $21.99 without the weather. In addition to seeing the 796 at AOPA in Hartford, you can find a full report on this uh, product in the October 2011 issue of Aviation Consumer. For Aviation Consumer and for AdWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.